Okay, so this video, I'm showing you how to simulate a cube. And then this is the summary of it before I show you the cube simulation in the software. So this is the summary. So first, you need to sketch the cubes. Okay, so you go to the module and then you can see the parts. Okay, scroll from this part. Okay, then you have this all these functions. So you create this and then you can create a part. You click this and then you can create a part and then you can name the part. So here you can name the part according to the uh, part you need. So you have 3D, 2Ds and also asymmetric. So uh, usually we use 3D and then here you have deformables, discrete rigid, analytic, analytical rigid, Eulerians and so on. Okay, and then the base picture you have solid shells wire or point so for the normal material we use deformable and then if you have the support conditions then you can use discrete rigid okay and then for the shape for the solid is a solid material shell is the shell materials mean the thickness can uh, is ignored and then the wire wire we usually use it for the reinforcement okay and then for the types means you after you draw the construction and then you can use the extrusion. Okay, another two is resolutions and revolution and also straight. So normally I will use this extrusion function. Okay, so you draw this and then you can click continue, then you can draw. So at the draw function you can see that it will change to this module. Okay, so from this module you can see that you have draw the point circles and then you have so many things and then here is the dimensions so you can draw the cross sections okay so for this uh, uh, explanation is about drawing a cube test so normally the cube is 150 mm times 150 mm times 150 mm so i can draw this and then 150 mm so as i explained in the first video which is the introductions so um, i prefer to use the millimeter in the abacus so i draw 150 150 and then once you complete then you can click done and then you end the condition and then apply the depth which is the extrusion okay extrusion 150 so after you press ok then you will get this cube okay so once you completed this cube means you already have that part okay so for this part what i have to do the step number two is you need to create a partitions by partitions the face and the cell okay so first you need to draw the partitions face okay you can see these icons here okay so you can draw the partition face first and then you ex you then then you extrude the line okay extrude the directions to here so you will extrude the line and then you will cut through here then you will get the cube okay with partitions so after you complete the step of partitions then you can start to create the material properties so to create the material properties okay you can go to the material you double click and then you name the materials as uh, whatever material you use for this i use foam concrete so you can insert the value of density elastic and then for the plastic i choose it to have the concrete damage plasticity which is in the function of this okay so you insert the value of the materials so for the, the mass density is you need to according to the unit that set and then i already explained in the first introductions uh, video so you can refer to that videos okay so you input the elastic value which is the young modulus and also the poison ratio and then you can insert the value of concrete damage plasticity for the dilatation angle eccentricity okay and then for this all value after that you can insert the value of compressive behavior for the yield stress in elastic strain and then the sub option you are going to enter the damage okay so once you click on the sub sub option so you can input the value of damage parameter and in elastic strain how to calculate this i already explained in another videos also which is about the concrete damage plasticity so how to generate this data you can refer to that video okay so you input all the value and then for the concrete uh, the, for the tension and for the uh, compressions so once you complete those all value all this value you can see that this tension behavior also you include the value so you can go to the sections and section assignments 
So you already have that material properties, but then you need to have that sections. Means that section is what kind of uh, materials? Is it solid and also homogeneous? So for foam concrete is solid and homogeneous. So we will choose the type is solid and homogeneous. And then for this section, we will use the material of foam concrete, which you already create before. So after you put this value, then you need to assign for the cube that you already have the part. So what you have to do is, okay, you need to create, you need to assign into that part, okay, and then assign the regions for the cube. Means you assign that cube part, and then is using that foam concrete sections, okay. So means that the part of that foam concrete already with the section of foam concrete properties. So after that part already have the properties, then you can go to the module of assembly. So you can see that this is the assembly. Then you can call the part out. Okay, you press this, and then which is the part you want to have. So if you simulate a model with more than one part, so you need to call out many parts, and then you need to assemble it together to become a model. So for this is simple. This is just a cube, so you only have one part. So let's say if you simulate the reinforced concrete, uh, reinforced, con uh, reinforced concrete means you have the reinforcement bar and then you have the concrete. So you need to call out many materials. You need to assign many material and then assembly it to the location you need. Okay. So after you call the assembly material, you can see that you already have this. Okay. So this is the part you have. So what we have to do it now is you also need to have the RP, the reference point at top and bottom as the support conditions. So for create the, refer, uh, the reference point at top and bottom, you need to go to the reference point, which is the point that part I will explain in the video for the actual hands-on cube simulation. So for this, as I just explained to you what is the step-by-step -step you have to do. So after you have that reference point for the support conditions, then we can create the step of analysis. So the step of analysis here, you can see that this model tree, you can go to the step and then once you click create. So make sure the time period now is one, means one on only one circle. And then this NLGEOM means the nonlinear geometry must be on. So it will incur the nonlinear behavior. Okay, then you click OK. Okay. So after that, the step already complete, then you need to request the fill and history output. So means that in the abacus, it didn't set out what is the output you need. So you can assign yourself what you need. In, uh, you need to remember that if you put in everything, if you include every result, it will consume more computational hours, meaning you need to run longer time. So you only select what you need. So for this, I use assign damage c damage t evf le which is, is the string and then the reaction force the s and then this value okay so domain here is the whole models mean the whole model i will see the result okay and then it will have the frequency of evenly space time interval and then the interval here if you have more interval it will consume more time but then it will be more accurate. If you have too little of interval, it will give you too little of data. So this is, you need to adjust according to the suitability. So after you have that few output, then we need to have history output. So for history output, this is the part where we are going to get the ultimate load and also the displacement. <coughs> okay. So this, normally we will have the set which is the set this is we need to create a set uh, from the rp top okay the rp top means that just now we have the reference point on top so for this point we know that uh, you know that we, uh, we're going to assign the pre-described displacement at the top so for this top okay you assign it and then every space time intervals then you have the 20, 200 intervals, means from just now one circle, 0 to 1, you will cut into 200 piece, means that from 0 to 1, you will have 200 data, okay? Every space time interval, you will have the data. So RF2 and U2, RF is the reaction force, and then 2, here in the abacus, you have 1, 2, and 3, means X, y, uh, X is 1, Y is 2, and Z is 3. 
So for this is apply the load from the y direction means is RF2. And then the vertical displacement also from y. So that's why is U2. Okay. So after that, you complete the, you already have the historical output. So you can have create the constraint for the top and bottom. So just now you already create the top point. But then the reference point doesn't mean anything if you didn't have the constraint. Okay, so for constraint, you can see this this model tree. You will have constraint and interactions. Both you can use, but just is the assign method is different. So here you use coupling, which the coupling means is means that you can see that I go I zoom in. So the car the control point is the uh, for this sub, uh, support at bottom. The control point is the point at the bottom, and then the surface is the whole surface at bottom. Why? Because this whole surface will put it on the surface and then it will constrain by the u1, u2, u3 and then the rotation u1, u2, u3. Means that which, uh, this point if it is not moving or they don't have rotation then this surface will stay with it. Whenever the reference point will move it will follow. Okay. So after, and then for the top you also need to couple do the coupling condition same as this means that whatever this reference point do the whole surface will do and then the load will supply uh, will supply to the whole surface from the RP top okay so after you complete that then we need to have the step number nine which is create the boundary condition at top and bottom and then apply the pre-described displacement on top okay so from the top you know that from the experiment we will have the pre-described displacement and also we have the equivalent uh, equipment force applied on it so at the bottom you will have zero okay zero for u and also ur means that at the bottom is the step uh, is the fixed condition no movement if you want to have other condition like simply supported and also like the uh, pim or what you need can you can adjust here by yourself and then the amplitude here is tabular we will use the tabular Okay, the pebula here means that from start from zero and then zero or zero zero and then we will end at one and one. You need to create the amplitude of that. Okay, so for the boundary condition at top, you can see that other O is zero, but then that U two now is negative five. Negative five means that the force is applied downward. Okay. So you can see that this is the area of it is going downward. That's why you need to put negative 5. Means that from 0 to 1, the amplitude you apply from 0 to 1, means it's increased constantly until the end of the circle. Okay, you will apply 5 millimeter on top. This U2, U is the displacement, means you, you will use the same unit as mm. Okay, so after you complete that part, you need to go for meshing. So meshing size here, approximate global size, uh, I used to mention is GB. So if the GB is 20, so it will have the size of meshing size according to the numbers. The higher the number, the greater the number, the coarser the mesh. So if you want to keep mesh to the final mesh, more fine mesh, so you need to put the smaller number. Okay? So after you mesh, that means your model almost complete. But then uh, here there is a step you need to apply the, uh, you need to assign the element type. That one I will show you in the hands-on video. So after the model complete, you will submit for checking and analysis. So here you can create, okay, you press the create and then you will have the models. And then before you do the, you submit for the uh, analysis, you can make a data check first. So if your model have any errors, okay, so it will show you first. So it will save you time actually. So if you already direct put uh, submit it, but then you have errors, so you will waste your time. And then data check is make sure you have everything correct by logic in the computer. And then they will ask you to proceed. Okay, so after you obtain the result, after you done the job, so you can have the post processing which is including the view and view and analysis. So how to extract the data? This is explained in another video. So you can refer to that video on how you can you plot the graph, how can you extract the data and so on. So that's it for today. Thank you.